Welcome back to Sweet Kitchen Skills. My name is Marcos Grigo, today with another beautiful design. So this mold is one of my favorite molds. It's from Marcellato. Uh, uh, I like the shape very much. So I start with tempered black cocoa butter and just make some dots and stripes. Just use a toothbrush or a brush for that. Then as always, clean the molds. Let crystallize and continue with the next color. And again, this is a series. This series is with untempered cocoa butter when I when I spray the form. So this butter is just 40 degree warm when I use it. Start with the green, spray at an angle. Nice layer, nice and even layer. About one third of the mold. That's why you spray at an angle. Let it crystallize. Of course, clean the mold. Then let it crystallize for about 10 minutes in the fridge at 16 degree or less if the fridge is colder. And then continue with the next color, which is yellow or red. So I use red this time. Turn the mold to the other side and spray at an angle again the red color. So the green color is on the opposite side. Leave a little space in the middle for the yellow color. Clean the mold. Let the color crystallize for about 10 minutes and then spray in the yellow color. You see there's still uh, uh, space left in the middle where you can spray the yellow color. Maybe I should have used the yellow color before first. So now I have yellow color inside and I spray until the, the color turns orange and then I start spraying. Which is about now. And then spray with the yellow color which right now is really orange. It doesn't really matter, it changed the color. And that gives your bombons just a very nice look. And then let it crystallize and then you end up with white cocoa butter if you don't have white chocolate for the shells. Spray, clean, crystallize, continue. So again the reason why I used white cocoa butter is because I used dark chocolate. Uh, the color would be different if you wouldn't put the white cocoa butter inside. If you use white chocolate you don't need white cocoa butter. And again Make the shells, let them crystallize, and then you will see a beautiful result. When you use untempered cocoa butter for the shells, the shells will not be as beautiful as the ones with the tempered cocoa butter. They lose a little bit of the shininess, but it still works. It makes everything much easier. You see, they're nice and beautiful, they're shiny, but the shine is not exactly the same like tempered cocoa butter and I will make a video on that it will come soon I hope you like the video I hope you subscribe I hope you press the like and the notification button because many of the videos people will never see because they don't hit the notification button next time I will show you this beautiful design bye bye